Okay, this is why insoles are bad. In this video, we'll tell you why insoles are bad, and more so when used for longer periods of time. And then we'll take one example where insoles are often prescribed, and I'll explain in detail what happens here and show you exercises you could do instead to make the whole situation easier. So why are insoles bad for you? Just remember one thing. Everything that helps your body externally makes your body dependent on this outside help, and that actually makes it weaker. The moment you support your body from the outside, small help as much as big help, your body starts thinking, well, when something from the outside is supporting me, I don't need to make any effort myself. Now, that would make sense in an engineering situation where you work with inanimate components. Let's say you have a pillar and it's structurally too weak, and so you screw on a second strut to reinforce it. But that makes no sense in the human body. Your body is a living system, and when it realizes that a weak spot is being supported from the outside, is being reinforced, then the weak areas surrounding it degenerate even more and you're making a bad situation even worse. And these things happen all the time. I have so many patients who use insoles and I ask them, does it really help? And the answer often is yes. It helped for a couple of days. It felt a bit better, but actually now I'm back where I started. And now I'm afraid if I take them out, things will get even worse. I'm really eager to know, do you use insoles? Please tell us about it. I'm interested to learn about how many people use them. So to sum it up, anything that helps from the outside, supports, pushes on your foot, makes it weaker. It would be better to retrain your foot. Let me show you an example. Let's ask Ina to help out. Please step on the mat here. I often hear about children whose feet roll over to the inside a bit when they walk. The reason why is not relevant here, just the fact that their feet roll inward a bit, they overpronate. And they are given insoles like this one here, where the inside of the foot is supported because the idea is to do exactly what I was talking about a minute ago. The thinking goes, oh, the foot is too weak, so we'll give it support so it can't roll inward anymore. What happens now? The moment this overpronation is stopped by an insole, and you then take away the insole, the foot will roll inward even more. So we have to do the opposite. And that means the following. Ina, please turn to the camera. Look, if her foot rolls inward when she's walking, it would make sense to apply an opposite force to have the foot roll outward. And make sure that the holding strength that keeps this part up is increased. And that again means, please, Ina, step back a bit so we can see better. Now, you have to get used to this, of course. And now try to walk only on the outer edges of your feet, only on the outer edges. Turn around and come back. It takes some practice to keep your balance. You can go to extremes to show it clearly, and then we'll show it to you very clearly. Uh, please come here and turn to the camera. Now, after a while, when you've gotten used to it, you can also put your foot down like this. On the outer edges, but barely noticeable, and still deliberately walk more on the outside. In most cases, and with some practice, this rolling inward stops because you have gained strength in the entire structure of the foot, and the ligaments will adapt to this too and stabilize it, and so render the whole insole question moot. And to most patients, after a quick check why they use insoles, we recommend throwing those insoles away so they can't do any more damage. If you've liked this video, remember, many people have to learn about this. You know our mission, we want to help people to live pain-free lives.
please tell it to others, share this video, pass it along, and leave comments to push this topic to the forefront. The more people that learn about this, the more unnecessary suffering and pain from unnecessary insoles can be prevented. See you next time. We always appreciate a thumbs up. Bye.